warm welcome to Danielle Ponder. women all over the world and it's called some of us yeah you can clap for black women you can't <laughs> it's called some of us are brave I 
and I'm from Rochester, New York. This is, hey, is Rochester in the building? Okay. <laughs> this is my first time being in Washington, D playing in Washington, D.C., and I'm so thankful that I get to do it at the Kennedy Center. What an amazing thing. As the millennial NPR-loving nerd I am, it just means everything to be here today, and I thank you for being here and listening. We're gonna keep it moving. This next song is called Someone Like You. This song is for anybody out there who's single. If you're single, make some noise. Yes, so exciting um, <laughs> to be single in 2022. Um, Someone Like You goes like this. depend on the sun coming after the rain I'ma be just fine I depend on love coming back again yeah. if it don't if it won't
Thank you so much. Thank you. And you know, sometimes you find the person that my mother would say you just had to have, and about two years down the line, you just have to let them go. Anybody ever been there, right? For me, it's, it's, um, it's a pattern. <laughs> it's uh, about two years, and then I'm on to the next thing. And my last relationship lasted much longer, six years. Can I get a round of applause for that? What a miracle. Um, but eventually, I knew it was time to move on. And I think as you get older, it gets harder to move on because there's so much fear attached to it, right? You may feel fear of being alone or feeling like maybe you're not making the right choice or just that you're 40 and you're thinking, Lord, Jesus, my knees barely work. Anybody going to want me? You know what I mean? I know those are real feelings. And so this song I wrote called Only the Lonely um, is really about my struggle to move on, and I hope it resonates maybe with someone here who also um, needs to make that choice. the truth in the dark it's gonna break you down so steal your heart you don't love me you just lonely that's what my man say your daddy left you guilty that's what you don't see and I give up trying cause I'm feeling worlds apart and you'll never call it though you're staring I know I've said it all before, but now I feel it. Only the lonely stay when love's no longer sad. The fire doesn't burn. They hold on so. Uh -huh. The 
This next song is called The Only Way Out. It's the first single I released off of my debut album, which is coming out September 16th. And thank you so much. You can actually pre-order that album, pre-save it. I would appreciate your support. It's um, been a long time coming. And uh, yeah, this goes like this. Sometimes it hurts so bad. 
so much. Thank you. So I wrote this song called Frey, and I wrote this song after going through therapy. Anybody in therapy out there? Wow, we need more people than that. <laughs> we need more people going. Any mental health therapists out there? All right, shout out to you, because I know that shit is heavy. Um, so going through therapy and wondering why my relationships always seem to fail. And you're not going to believe what this therapist told me. It has something to do with me. Can you believe it? <laughs> and so I learned in therapy that sometimes when you didn't receive the love that maybe you should have received when you were younger, that brings all of those issues carry into your relationship, right? And sometimes if anyone dealing with abandonment issues, it can be hard to believe someone loves you. So you just gotta, you know, make things exciting and just F the relationship up. Anybody been there? Just sabotage it. Um, and so this song is my, um, an opportunity for me to confront that thing. And that's what most of my songs are, is to confront the things I'm dealing with. And it's called Frey. Little girl, little heart, no one seems to know she has a name. Picking up, placing blame, learn to hide her smile and crave the pain. Is anybody out there listening? Anybody out there feel my pain? Cause I live on the edge of existence. I live on the frame. And he can buy some time if he persisted. But the devil's on his way. Can buy some time and peace 
you guys so much. Um, so I spent most of my time before becoming a full-time musician. I was a public defender and I um, practiced, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I practiced in Rochester, New York for eight years and on December 31st I decided to leave my job to do music full-time but being a public defender is something I was also very passionate about um, I don't have to go on and on about how broken her criminal justice system is. But this next song I wrote um, when I read of the story of Willie Simmons, who was sentenced to life in prison in 1982 for stealing $9. And Willie Simmons' story is not uncommon. There's many stories like that across the country. My brother was sentenced to 20 years in life, 20 years to life for a robbery. And many of the clients that I uh, represented um, received harsh and unfair sentences. So I dedicate this song to men and women who are incarcerated, our brothers, our sisters. These are our community members, our family members, um, and it's called Poor Man's Pain. The crime pay more than time, time and time and time again. Land of laws for the darker man, freedom comes too slow. I could give up if the blood wasn't in me. I could give up if my soul wasn't with me. Said it won't be long. Oh, one day I see the sun.
So December 31st, I left my job to be a full-time musician. And uh, it was a hard decision, but it was um, a decision I'm so happy I made because in one year, my life has completely changed. I want to tell you that I'm 40 years old. I know I look 25, <laughs> or at least I hope I do. Uh, <laughs> but I'm 40 years old, and I signed my record deal at 39 years old. I w thank you. I went on my first US tour at 40 years old. And all of these things have happened to me just within a span of a little over 12 months. And I say that to say I've been doing music for about 15 years, and I want all of the artists out there and the believers and the dreamers to know that it's never too late. I did not think at 40 years old I would see my name in the New York Times in Rolling Stones. Tomorrow we're doing an interview and performance with CBS. This was not even in my dreams. I was just like, maybe I'll make $50,000 a year and I can, you know, do music and just play shows. I ne not that I'm making, you know, <laughs> still the money has to come. But I never thought the things I would see, Billboard and Times Square, never imagined that was possible. I thought it was completely over for me. I literally would Google, has anyone made it over the age of 40? And Google was like, girl, don't quit your day job. <laughs> Basically, I couldn't find an example, right? I couldn't find myself out there. And so I'm so thankful that this is all happening, but I know it's a testament to one, greater gets greater later, two, it's never too late, and three, sometimes you may not find the example, you might be the example. Um, and I'm thankful for that. Yes, I feel like we was about to go to church, but we ain't gonna go there. I just wanna say thank you. Um, this song is a song I wrote, and I like to tell any artists or dreamers out there that listen to this song once a day for two weeks, not only to help my streaming numbers, but also because I think, um, for me, it's a song that helped me find that courage and strength to make a bold and brave decision, and it's called So Long. When the sun don't shine Oh my head and I clear my mind Save me I'm gonna save me I won't hide, no, I won't play small I stay grounded, I can never fall You won't shake me You'll never shake me And I don't care what people say No, 
Thank you so much. We're going to do this song called Darker Than Blue. And uh, I wrote this song uh, after the summer of 2020. Anybody was out in the streets in the summer of 2020? Yeah. <laughs> Two people. You guys are doing great here, D.C. Um, <laughs> summer of 2020 was uh, when the George Floyd protests happened all across the country. And I've been involved in protests and activism for many years. Um, but that summer was one of the most powerful ones. One, because of how many people came out all across the world and how many people begin to say Black Lives Matter. I remember there was a time where people were afraid to say that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Let's clap for that. And um, I think when you are feeling pain, it feels good in your heart when people recognize you're hurting, right? And some of these things we complicate and we call them political things, but it's just human needs. When a human is hurt, they need to know that you hear them, that you are concerned, that you stand with them, and that you're willing to do something about it. Anyone who's hurt wants that. And so for me, that was a moment to see that across the world. And believe me, we have a long, long way to go. But I really do feel somewhat encouraged that people are beginning to see it, beginning to believe our stories about police brutality. I mean, I grew up with four brothers and three out of the four brothers I have have been abused by police. I grew up in these communities and it was always so frustrating for me to have to explain to someone the things I've seen and having people not believe me. Um, so I am dedicating this to everyone who stood up, who continues to stand up. And um, whether we get there or not, we just keep climbing, right? Because the other, the, the other uh, choice is to sit down and that can't happen, right? So that's the only reason I have hope, is because the other choice is to do nothing. Um, so this song is called Darker Than Blue. in love. 
so much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've talked about all the things after being a public defender, going through a breakup, going through the summer of 2020. Of course, I've had to also be gentle and kind to myself. And this next song that I wrote is just about that. It's about being good to yourself, caring for yourself, and loving yourself. As I like to say, there is one person you are guaranteed to wake up with every morning, and that is yourself. So we work hard to make sure that internal voice is at least gentle to us. I'm, I'm about 60% of the time, 40% of the time it's a mess, but I'm working on it. This song is called Be Gentle. I'd like you to shake it off a little bit. I know we're in the Kennedy Center, but you think you guys can clap your hands. All right, on beat with Clayton like this, yeah, all right. to you. 
yourself my love my love you can be no one else my love my love speak kind words no you're doing your best speak loving words you are yours to protect well be the place where your heart is lifted up well look inside give it all for your car lift yourself Thank y'all so much. Uh, I'm gonna ask for a little bit more reverb on this song. This is our last song. My name is Danielle Ponder. Um, I just, <laughs> thank y'all so much. I wanna let you know something very important. So you know how I said I used to be a lawyer. Well, I was a lawyer. I was in a leadership position. I was making good money, y'all. And now I'm a musician. So you know where this is going. Merch. I have merch. <laughs> and you can buy my merch and support our dream. Help us get gas money. Help us get to our next show. We have t-shirts. We have tote bags. We have stickers. Um, I am doing this by myself. I'm funding this dream. And I would love your support. Um, and even if you don't have merch, I still like to meet you at the merch tape. Or if, even if you don't have money, I love to meet you at the merch table to just say hello. And better than money, not better than, but second to money, <laughs> is just telling someone that you saw us if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Um, this is our last song. Avis Reese is on keyboards. Make some noise for her. <laughs> Garrett Matters on guitar. Clayton Carruthers is on drums. We have been away for a month on tour, and this band has been exceptional to work with. Avis, as you can probably imagine, has been my partner for 10 years, and so many of these songs are things that we've created at a dining room table when we thought we weren't producers, and turns out we were. And um, that's what I'm so excited about with this album. And, um, but this song is a cover song that means a lot to me. And I uh, hope it means something to you.
And look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. And you flow like a fairy.
Everybody wants to know We want to know we mean something We want to know that there's a relevance to our lives That's all Doesn't matter if you're black or white, old or young. We all have one question, Lord. Oh, what the reason for my life is, the purpose for my life. That's all. I want to know. Thank you so much, Kennedy Center. My name is Danielle Ponder. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at Millennium State. For more information about the upcoming Millennium State program, please visit us online at our website, 